Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft and I'm back again with a tutorial. Now, I'm really quite excited about today's and if it works out well, I think it'll be pretty good. So as you can see, I've got loads of bits here. <clears throat> all we're going to do is a piece at a time. I'm not going to, you know, rhyme all these off and bombard you and stuff. So as you can tell from the picture and stuff, it's going to be an ink pad storage unit and I'm going to move this out the way in a minute we just need to have it for some cutting so first thing we need is a kind of spine or I don't really know what I would call it but it's the bits where our shelves are going to slot into okay so it will be in the middle of our um, ink pad storage so it needs to be seven inches by four inches okay and then what i did was i covered it first in black card and then i cut it because it would be virtually impossible to cover all this after it had been cut okay so i just used some card which was nine inches by six inches which left us an inch all the way around and then I just glued it over <clears throat> and then I put a piece on the back which is roughly six and a half by three and three quarter inches and that would leave you this piece completely covered. Then we need to make six slits in this card. <clears throat> And I just used, again, like, you know, the paper pads or a few cereal boxes glued together because it does need to be quite thick. So I'm just going to take this craft knife I've got. And then what I've done is at every one inch, I have made a mark. So at one two three four five and six just mark it and then you want to measure up to about one and three quarters one and three quarters of an inch okay and then you would just mark that with your pencil and then we we need to kind of cut just either side of the pencil line to create these kind of slits okay so i've got the last one to do here so the pencil marks there so i'm just going to come in just beside it and then i'm just going to run the knife down and it'll take a few times to go through Okay, you can see there and then I'm going to turn it round and then I'm going to come in just a little way before the pencil mark and create another line. Okay, and I'm just going to turn it over and I need to go through some more because it hasn't even come through the other side yet so okay that's a bit better and then hopefully I should be able to just go straight through now. That's it. And then <clears throat> we just want to just cut across the top as well. So we can just take this whole piece out.
just got this little metal nail file which works pretty well because it gets any you see like all these little dusty straggly pieces Take your time <clears throat> with this because you need to get this right. Um, you know, and I, like I say, I just took my time, did it slowly, and it worked. So, I've got to do one more piece of cutting for you with the mat, and then we'll get it out of the way because it's making the light go all funny. So, we've got this now. We need our shelves and we're going to need six of them. Um, I've still got one left to do but I've done the rest of them because obviously it's going to take a while and you don't need to see us doing all of them. So they basically are going to end up like this. Again we will need to do our line in them because what's going to happen is they are going to slot in and they're nice and tight and they will go all the way virtually to the back and that's what the ink pads will sit on okay <clears throat> so piece of chipboard which is six and a quarter by four and you need six pieces of them you need to cover it like I've done here so if your card measures roughly eight inches by six just glue it on and then just score around with a stylus or a tool just so you can stick them up like this okay so we are going to quickly do that now okay so we'll take the sides off and then just Stick them there. Then take your bone folder, which I've just had and I've lost it already. Oh, I'm terrible. <clears throat> anyway, I am just going to push these little corners in. And then we need a piece to cover here so I should have a scrap piece somewhere yeah and it doesn't fit so I am just going to cut it down because we aren't really going to see it so I haven't really bothered being too precise with these pieces I'll give you a rough measurement in a minute. So I've cut mine to five and seven eighths by three and a half inches. And I'm just gonna <clears throat> glue that down on there. And this is the last one that I've got to cut. So because I've made mine I can use a template but you won't have a template so what you need to do well after you've done your first one you can just then put it on 
and draw in there with a pencil. But what you'll need to do is roughly <clears throat> come in and you want to put a pencil mark at about three and one eighth of an inch. Okay, three and one eighth, and you want to mark it up to two and a quarter inches, and then you want to just cut it out like a half. So you have your pencil mark in the middle, just cut a tiny little bit past each one so that you're creating this kind of slit. And then once you've done that, you will be able to use the rest of them as a template. And then you can just draw round with your pencil. Okay. And then again, take your craft knife or whatever blade you're going to use. And then I'm going to turn it over and see if it's gone through and it hasn't just yet. So I'm going to go over again. And I think that has now so I can just... Okay. And then again, if we've got any straggly pieces, There we go, so you should have six of them. And they will all slot in to your little spine piece or whatever we want to call it. Now you might have noticed that two of them have these on the sides. And what you will have to do is eventually you will have to add it onto every one of them. And they are so they can just secure it into the sides as well so they're not flapping around. I know that they're going to go onto that but once they go on here what I want so that's that in there but then I wanted them to also be able to stick to the side just to keep them straight and everything in line okay so they are four inches I can't even get that off now they are four inches by two, scored at the short side at one inch, and that's all I've done. Just stuck them to the, to the very sat ends, so that one end glues on there, the other ends glue on the box when we make that in a minute. So, that is what you should have up to now. Six shelves, and this. 
So that's them out of the way. Let me get sorted out and then we'll move on to the next okay, part. Okay, so the next piece is uh, the back of our storage um, holder. So we need a piece again of chipboard or like I keep saying, cereal boxes glued together, whatever you want. It needs to measure six and three eighths by seven inches, okay? And I'm covering it with, again, black card. It's 120 GSM, this one. It's better, it's thinner for bending and folding. And I, I get it from Lime Tree Craft, so I'll put the link for that. So I have put some score tape on the back. And I'm just gonna remove the tape back in. The card is roughly nine inches by nine and three quarters. It's just really so we've got at least kind of an inch all the way around. A little bit more, you know, it doesn't really matter. And then take a bone folder or something and we are just going to run down the edges of it a couple of times, okay? And then I'm just going to start bending it over. We've got that now. So this will be the back of the ink pad unit and this will be, you'll see this inside. So I want to have my inside back piece with some paper in, okay? So my paper is six and three eighths by six and seven eighths and I am going to have it on here. So I'm just going to quickly glue that on and it happens to be the Stamperia Wonderland because I've got some craft, some MDF drawers and things in my craft room that I've got a Micallix unit and I decorated them in this paper so I thought it would be nice to have a matching ink pad holder as well. So I want this glued on to here. And you won't really see loads of it, but I just wanted, I thought it would be nice just to have a bit of the paper on the inside. Now, what we need to do is it's kind of created like a little square now. We need to remove all of these four corner squares. Okay. So I've cut rid of, I've got rid of them. Now, we our box needs some sides, okay? So I think, yeah, I've already covered mine just in the same way we do the others. So these sides are seven by four inches. Again, get some paper or card, whatever you're using which will be nine by six. Stick it on, just score around the sides like I've just done and then fold them all over. So you have two of them. Now, normally we would have like the unfinished piece on the inside, but what we're gonna do is because this is all nice and finished, we are gonna make this point to the inside because I don't wanna be faffing on getting the inside done when this is already covered and this piece yes will be on the outside so will be need to be covered but that's where i have cut some more paper which i will have 
these on the outside so that covers that so I think it's easier to do it this way so the nice covered side is going to be straight it's going to be the inside straight away so it's all covered so you need two of these again seven by four okay and what's going to attach them is these tabs here so again so they will go in here this will attach them and our card our patterned paper is going to cover them so we need two sides we also need a top and a bottom so they both need to be six and three eighths by four inches now when i put my card on i had I don't know I thought I'd made a mistake and I cut um, the other piece of this card off but you, you can you don't have to you could just fold it over so you will need a piece of card which is eight and three eighths by six inches again score round and then just have it like I have so you need to have you will fold over these two sides and you will keep these ones like this okay and this one I haven't done this one at all but we'll do that later so that's going to be the top so that will go up like this and this bit will hold the top on and when this comes up that will hold on to there and then that will glue onto there so we create we're basically just creating like a kind of box really so we need to have tape on all of the insides of our little flaps here so I think I will put one of the sides on so remember the nice side is going to go inside okay so that is going to attach just on to here okay so we can take the back and off So nice side on the inside we are just gonna pop that there okay and then we are going to fold this up so it attaches like that okay so there is the side of our box Okay. so again we've got another side that we're going to do the same thing with Right, so I've now got two sides. Now the top, so that's going to go to there, and then we want to remember we want to keep tabs and things on the outside because we've got the inside all nice and covered. So we actually will need a piece of card for here now. So I think I've got some spare. And just cut this piece down okay so I took a piece and I covered the top inside and then I did glue this on tape this on but the bottom is exactly the same so you will see how to do that as well so remember we need tape down here because this is going to fold up 
and that is going to press down on the side. So I am also going to put a bit of glue down the other side where it's a bit too wide for another piece of tape so I'm just going to put some glue and already I can just feel how strong this box is see it's absolutely solid so fold this up quite tight pull it tight and then press this down on here Okay, so as you can see it's really just a really strong box same with the bottom so we need our bottom piece which is the same size six and three eighths by four now instead of putting black card on the bottom here I'm going to put some more of the paper so I have cut a piece of the paper to go on here which I've cut mine to, it could have been a little bit longer actually, but it'll be fine. Um, six and a quarter by three and seven eighths. And that will be what that cardstock needs to be under there as well. So I'm just going to score around here. Okay, so this bit here is going to be the front so that bit needs to fold over so it leaves a nice smooth front piece so we need to remove these little squares here and then just tape down here okay so then this bottom piece will stick to there and then them two pieces there will fold over and stick to the side and that will basically be our box made so we are going to need tape down these two sides here So I need to peel the tape off here and then this is then going to stick just on to here like this, okay. I'm just making sure that I've got it in the right place, yeah I definitely should have had a longer piece of paper there. But what I might do actually is I might make some little reinforced corners again so that should all be stuck down like that. See what I mean? We've just got really a pretty box. So I want some glue down there. Right, that's it done. The basic carcass of it. So, because I have cut my paper short and now I have gaps, um, basically just like the pieces that I made for our shelves, we can just make them and just stick them in the corner. So, I'm going to pinch these two here. it makes it even stronger actually so I'll just trim a little bit off so these need to be 
two by three and seven eighths score on the short side at one and then it makes these like little reinforced corners which then also hides any little imperfections just like what we did with a storage box the other day really I'm going to try not to get glue this time that's better so yeah because we need to do any little pieces like this before we stick our shelves in right so I just need to do two more because so I've got the top ones and then I'm going to make another two for the bottom so I'm just going to do that twice for the bottom and I'll be straight back okay so I had put the other corners in and then when I did that I realized it was hiding half of the paper <laughs> so I just went ahead put the corners in and then I just stuck another piece over the top so that is our box done that's the back the back's already sorted we don't need to do anything to the back so we need to concentrate on this now um obviously i've stole a few of these pieces so i'm gonna have to cut some more so you will just i'll show you what we what we're gonna do so we've got our little shelf here turn it over we've got our little pieces and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take just the corners off them because I've noticed if you don't they kind of just stick out in the way so just cut the corners off like that and then we will just attach them like this okay so I'm just going to use glue and then I've got to do that to another three shelves okay and then just make sure it's kind of even Okay, so you need to do that to all of your shelves so that when we pop them in we've got our little sides on them okay so I have got no I haven't I've got yeah I've got three more to do because I'm gonna have to cut cut the others out because I've used them for my corners so I will quickly cut the other three out attach them and then I'll be straight okay back. so I have made all of my little pieces and I've put tape on all of them because I don't want to risk getting glue as I'm sliding it in on the side so let's take our box and with a bit of luck this should fit perfectly so yeah Phew, it does so that slots in there perfectly now you might have to adjust these and things like that that's, that's the wrong way around yeah that way so you could glue these on when you slide them in but I'm not going to glue mine on I'm just gonna I mean they're really tight so that's what they should be like and you'll get your pads in there so I'm going to peel the tape off and we're just going to stick one down at a time because there's not really any way we can glue them once they're in there they have to be done as they're going in so to keep these out of the way you can just push them under here 
as you're about to get it into place. Okay. And I think we need to try and get these straight, you see. This was the point of putting these little sticky pieces on the sides. So there we go, we've got our first shelf in. And it's basically just a case of tape off Here. Just get, took these out of the way as you're putting it in, and then your next shelf is going to slot, should just slot straight down. Okay, let's keep that out of the way until you're ready to stick that down. there we go we've got out and honestly this is just so strong it's unbelievable how strong it's turned out to be Oh wow, I'm actually really impressed with this. That is so cool. So we've got our paper, paper on the top, which that will hide all the little card joins and whatnot. And you'll be able to get a better look at it in the photographs because but yeah so we've got the bottom which has got the pattern we've got a so honestly it's just so strong we've got the top the sides the back the bottom is really tidy but you could put another strip of something on if you wanted to so let's get some ink pads so I know these will fit because this is what I made it for. So Versafine, Versamark, sorry. Um, I don't know if it would. No, I haven't made it wide enough to fit the Stampin' Up ones, but I'm not bothered for me anyway. And we've got Versafine. Yep, that one sticks out a bit, which is better because it's no, it doesn't. Um, yep. What else? So, you know, just those kind of pads, so you'll be able to get 14, 14 pads in there. Now, the only thing that I don't like is the way it's sticking out at the sides, some of the shelves. And that's because they haven't gone right to the back because I obviously haven't cut my slit long enough. So if you, if you really don't want that, when you cut your slits, in these shelves cut it a little bit longer and then they'll go further down because it, not all of them just a couple of them stick out but other than that I'm just really really happy honestly when you make it you will just realize how strong it is so yeah that's my ink pad storage so I'm gonna, I may put some more little decorations on. I might put some corners or something on. So I hope you will give it a go. Um, and I'll have all the measurements on my blog. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.